miss me? Mikey Pipes, did you miss me? I missed you. I missed you so much. Anyway, heading over to this service call in Valley Stream, New York. It's a new client. She's got a, uh, a boiler that she wants serviced. She said um, the company that she's been using year after year, for some unknown reason, is not interesting the phone. And news to me, they're right down the block from me. And I don't know. Anyway, let's see what's going on. And uh, maybe I'll be able to get some great content. All right, be well. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button. And if you want any stickers, like this one right here, if you ain't testing, you're guessing, email me. Details in the description box down below. All right, let's go get paid. How are you? Here to service your boiler. Yes. Come on Can I come in the front door? Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. Come on in. I'll follow you. Yes. How are you doing this fine morning? Good. Excellent. This is my day off. So good morning, man. Good morning, ladies. How are you? It's my day off, so I slept late. Ah, today is the holiday. I got the text and um, you guys are on your way. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's right back here. All right. Around the corner. Right. Yeah. I'll sit right here. Okie dokie. Let's see what we have. Oh. Switch right. Right. Uh huh. Good well to clean. Yeah, because I did nice. some work on the chimney. Okay, I see so that. Part out and we cemented. How long ago was that? I could about a year. About okay. A year ago. So they put a liner in it or just had to repoint thing and the, the masonry? They said that part was clogged. Okay. So they were like about to want to shut me down. So I had to come <laughs> in and get them. They had to clean out like the whole, I mean, I don't know everything, nitty gritty. Okay. And put a new piece and, you know. When's the last time your boiler was serviced? Um, last year. Okay. You have it done every year? Okay. Yeah, just to make sure. Very good. Huh? Just make sure wh whoever mm -hmm. comes, make sure they, they lubricate the, the circulator. That's okay. that red thing right there. Mm -hmm. That there's ports on there. That, uh, you put some household oil in there. Make sure that gets done every year. Right, I'll get right. that from the truck, and we'll do a, a, a general cleaning. Let's okay. see how it looks under the hood. Do I need to get the vacuum? Yeah, I'll get the vacuum too. Okay. Very good. All right. <laughs> I, I've got batteries, but it's better to put your batteries in because our batteries are more expensive. <laughs> double A. Well, downstairs you need double A batteries. Yeah, but you have batteries. I have batteries. They're five dollars though. They're how much? They're, I, listen, it's expensive to keep things in the truck, so they're five dollars for a pair of batteries. It's the same battery like what we have out there. Yeah, but that's why I said if you have double A batteries. Let me put yours in. Yeah, you have so much in your room for that. I, I let me have... let me get the things I need from the truck. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying, Patricia, you're not the man coming today. You say you need the battery, then we go look for them. Look, 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 my thing. Then they look for the look man. We don't even have it. Damn, she's flipping out on her. Only because of batteries. All right, let me get what I need out of the truck. Yes, beware, it's a mess. I changed that ST12, and they go deep in there, and I was going to stop by the shop and get a replacement ST12, but I didn't yet. Let's see. Low battery. We need new batteries. Two AA batteries. Let's see? She ain't doing anything. She ain't doing nothing. Hopefully they got batteries. All right, I drilled the hole with the step bit. And this is for the Testo. Halfway. Lock you in there. Let's let this run. Zone valve one is open. Zone valve three is not. Zone valve two is open. Zone valve three. This, what floor is that? I'm gonna guess that's the third floor. Third floor did not open. Let's go see why not. All right, at zone three. Oh, went to 62 degrees for some reason. Let's hold that there. 
hold. All right, let's see if that works now. All right. Now she's open. Okay. Now let's take a reading before. She's burning up. 600 degrees. Hot. Hot. So hot. Look at that. Burning up. Yeah, look at that pile of flame. And no one ever did a combustion test before. Alright, took all the burners out. Clean the bottom of the combustion chamber. Lubricated the B and G 100 circulator. And here is before numbers. 6.3, 141, 621 degrees stack. That's still gonna be the same, unfortunately. All right, let's fire this bad boy back up. Wait for this one valves to open and end switch to close. Bingo. We have ignition. about halfway in the flu. I'm gonna take a picture of this. Alright, wait for that to heat up. Let's take a look at this old loco record. February 16th, 1989. Van Dyke replaced power pile. Replaced gasket on circ. 1992. New circulator. Bled zones. 95 clean pilot burners something with I don't know what that means okay millivolt and let's set on NWH okay zero percent CO explain I don't see how they did that when there was no hole drilled in the flue yeah, what's up with that? Liar, liar, pants on fire. I'm gonna put our sticker over him. Yep, not much of a change. She's burning up though. She's on fire. Let's make sure we have circulation. That's hot. That's hot. That's also hot. Let's find return. Warm, hot, hot. That's the main floor. It's a monofloat too. There, see that? I'll wait for this to heat up. I'll make sure we have good circulation. Use some three-in-one household oil to that plug right there. That stack temperature. But the CO 252. What was it before? Not too happy. That's what it should be at. Where it's 607 degrees, 608. CO should be between 4. CO 02 between 4 and 9. I'm at 8.7. CO2, six and a half to eight, and then at 6.89, and the mold is well above 50, 93 particles per million of CO. Unfortunately, there's not much I can do to this boiler. Doesn't help that she's grossly oversized. CGM7, huge, huge boiler, 210. Gross 168 output. Gross, grossly oversized. There's a CP number right there, by the way. Grossly oversized. Wasteful. All right. Finished 
and uh, filling the service tag out. Today's date, tune up, very high stack temperature, advised to replace. There's a 8.7% oxygen, 89 particles per million carbon monoxide, 619 degrees Fahrenheit stack temperature, 6.89% CO2. Time to replace. Is it better? No, it's, it's still very high, 619 degrees. What, what could be causing it? Age. 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 You're gonna end up replacing the boiler, and that's my recommendation. It's on the, it's on the surface tag right there. Um, CO is also very high. Uh, registered at 89 particles per million. I got it down to that. It was 250. Um, it should be closer to zero and not exceed 50. Uh, industry standard. But uh, lubricated the circulator for you. Cleaned out the combustion chamber. Again, it's an old boiler. You know, if it was my mother's boiler, I would be replacing it. All right, so uh, it is what it is. The valves are good. The valves are good. You were saying? Yeah, they all turned on. Okay. So the this other thing is the boiler. It's Correct. And keep in mind, the water heaters don't last forever either. So, and that looks like it's from late '90s. Right, right. They don't they last like ten years or more? Ten, fifteen. So, so this is probably about that. You're over about twenty-five now. Okay. So keep that in mind. Right, right. <laughs> Any questions for me? Otherwise, um, well, did you do the like check the smoke detectors? Well, we don't. That that that's not. Oh, me. you don't do. Okay. No. No. You have a carbon dioxide detector in the house on every floor of the house? Yes, I think it's built in with the smoke and the carbon monoxide. Okay, very good. I think it's built in. To your alarms? Yes. Perfect. It should be. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, I think I see one here. Yeah. You know, do you target for the CO and all that activity? Say that again? So the tag you say the CO is high, I see it's 89 CO. Correct. And what's the other things? Oxygen, Oxygen and CO2. Mm -hmm. And the most important thing is the, the exhaust temperature. You know, that shouldn't be over 500 and you're at 619. And you put it on here? It's also a picture of it on your receipt as well from the computer. Okay, okay. And I'll email you that. God forbid it, it will like cause a fire. Ma'am, you should replace the boiler. Huh? You should replace the boiler. Mm -hmm. If this was any other state, I could turn up the gas and notify the um, national grid. Well, like I said, that with the chimney, they told me it was a chimney. Hey, hey, they replaced oh, that's, that. I, I don't know what happened last time when someone was here, but um, yeah, I don't know. Right, right, I understand. But it's just, it's very, very high. And again, like I said, with my mother's house and her boiler, I'd be changing it. So I can't pressure you to change it. I can just tell you, listen, you need to replace it. When, when is up to you? I'm not going to tell you the house is not going to burn down or burn down. <laughs> we don't know. But there are, the boiler is so old that there are no safety devices on that boiler to prevent you know issues like that. It's an old boiler. It is what it is. But again, I'm not a I'm not a salesman. I'm not here to you know tell you you need to do it. You should. That's my recommendation. Replace it. So you guys do it. You guys do replacement. Of course, yes. How much is one? How much it, it depends on what kind of. Range. It all depends. <laughs> it all depends on what kind of car you want to buy. It's a very vague question. So, you know, you can get a systems for, you know, thousands of dollars and tens of thousands of dollars. It all depends on what, what kind of bells and whistles you're looking for. You know, if you for, want just... For this size, for this size. Well, for, well let's, let's start with, the, with this. The boiler mm -hmm. is big enough to support three houses. The boiler is grossly over, what we call grossly oversized. Mm -hmm. You don't have like a Taj Mahal or right, a palace. Right, right. You know, it's three, four bedrooms at most, Cape, right? Mm -hmm. And you have a 210,000 BTU boiler. I know I don't want to spit numbers at you, but that boiler is big enough to heat a house, ideally, 5,500 square feet. This? This boiler, yes. So it's kind of too big for the house? Way too big for the house. <laughs> it looks so small. It's... <laughs> to me. The, the, the replacement is actually, if you put another whale well McLean in, is, is half the size of that one. Right, right. Because that, we, you know, I don't want to get, you know, throw too much information at you, but, you know, that's a seven section boiler. Your, your house needs a four section boiler. Right. So you have three extra sections of heat mm -hmm. that is not necessary. Right, right. <laughs> so what price range, like I'm saying, you know, trust something like me. 
That's a, you know, realistically, if you redo all the piping on there, all new mm. circulators, you do the water heater, you know, you can spend around nine, ten thousand dollars. If you don't want to do the water heater, again, you should. You can take off fifteen hundred bucks off that. Um, that's what they are now. Like it all depends. Ten grand taken, you know. You know, under ten, everything in there brand new. You know, right. it's it's a number. Right, right. Think about that. Yeah. Okay. Food for thought. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put my tools back in the truck and then we'll settle up. All right. So after about, I want to say about twenty-five minutes, going over the options, and then of course. Here comes the negotiation, you know, because everyone always wants the best price and you got to be prepared to negotiate, you know, to seal the deal and get them to accept on the spot. So I gave them an offer they couldn't refuse as long as it was cash. And she goes, what about financing? I goes, listen, you want to do financing? Well, back up to the number I started at. I was like, why? She goes, why? And I go, why? Who do you think gives you that 18 or 24 months interest-free financing? Who do you think pays for that interest? Someone's always paying for it. And at the end of the day, the consumer is always paying for it because it's built into the selling price. So I said, listen, you want to save 5.5%? You pay me cash. You want to pay me by credit card? Here's the price. You want to pay by financing through Synchrony Bank that we use that offers 18 or 24 months interest. Here's the price, same price. But if you want to give me cash, knock off five and a half percent off the bill, but it's got to be cash. Either it's a certified bank check, bank check, money order, or green. You give me green, knock off five and a half percent. It's like, Mike, I want, it to, I want you to do it now. I want to say yes now, but I need a better price. I'm like, I already gave you the best price, right? So I was like, we have an unknown here. We have an unknown. The unknown is you said you had some chimney work done, right? And unfortunately, if you don't have a chimney liner, the price is going to go up. Because Mike, don't, don't, don't tell me the price is going to go up. The price has got to go down. I was like, let me call my distributor. Let me make sure the price of the Whale McLean CGA4 and the A.O. Smith 40 gallon water heater is the same price as the one I just did. Make sure the price didn't go up. All right, let me see what I could do. So I call my distributor and I say, listen, if you are prepared to do the job and say yes right now and give me a deposit, here's the price. And that was it. You don't say another word, you don't speak. You let them speak first. You speak first, the deal is done. They gotta start over. So I'm sitting there, and they're talking amongst each other. And I stare, they stare at me, I was like, okay, we'll do it. I'm like, yes, there you go. Good job. I'll order the equipment, we'll have it in seven to 10 days, and we'll get, we'll start the job at Eight o'clock in the morning, be done by one. Goes, oh my God, so fast? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, he pipes, don't you know? <laughs> be well, God bless, stay safe. And don't forget, if you want one of these stickers, this is version 2.0. If you want one of these stickers, email me, mike at mikeypipes.com. Details in the description box down below. All right, be well, God bless, stay safe.